Hello flesh bags and welcome to another Gamer Dad's news update. I am Reds Gamma, your robotic data collector. Here are this week's top gaming news stories. Assassin's Creed 3 has been given a release date. Players will be able to re-enter the Animus as of the 30th of October with what will likely be a new protagonist, due to the Ezio story being wrapped up in the previous game. Stay tuned for more news as it develops, in more Ubisoft news. It seems this September Far Cry fans will be able to their hands on the third game of the series, Far Cry 3. You play as Jason Brody, a man stranded on a strange tropical island similar to the setting of the first Far Cry. Gamers will head out into this savage paradise and slash sneak and shoot to survive in a world that has lost all sense of morality. To view the trailer go to www.farcry.ub.com. The Wii U tablet controller boasts a touchscreen and gyroscopic controls, but according to newly surfaced patent filings, it could also one day sport a high-definition 3D display. The filings also indicate that Nintendo is considering making the tablet controller output a whopping 1080p. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will have these upgrades only that it's there if they choose to do so. Nintendo had previously said that it's not interested in 3D for the work. The system's final hardware configuration will be presented at the Sear Electronic Entertainment Expo, and will ship this holiday season. Could the next Call of Duty be returning to the Cold War era? The French site of Amazon posted and then immediately pulled a product page for Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. Even though Activision didn't confirm the game directly, there is a report that the French branch of the company asked Amazon for the page to be pulled. Does it make sense? Is it the natural successor for Call of Duty after the enormous sales after the first Black Ops? Let us know at www.gamerdads.co.uk. And finally, how much is too much to pay for a collection of toys? eBay bidders for Activision's Skylander Spyro Adventure have weighed in with their wallets and are offering close to $1,000 for rare Skylanders toys. It's a collection of six rare gold and silver toys and have received bids of $948 with just over a day to go. These are crazy times indeed flesh bags, and that is it for another week. Thank you for taking part in this on mass information assimilation. Keep your fleshy eyes peeled on GamerDads.co.uk for all the latest gaming news and discussions. Subscribe on YouTube.com slash GamerDadsUK and slash RetroCastUK. And while you are at it, download the GamerDads Network podcasts at tinyowl.com slash GamerDadsPodcasts. Until next time. I have been Reds Gamma and you have just been informed by the GamerDads Network. You are welcome.